Now, Baruch Levy be here from Soul Centered and the Defiant Spirit. The Defiant Spirit is my new um, direction, my philosophy, and my brand that I'm running with. I've been running with it. And really, it's um, two things. As you know, if you've watched, it is all things Victor Frankel, author of Man's Search for Meaning, for 39 other books. So if you haven't read Man's Search for Meaning, I encourage you highly to do so. But he's got a lot of other tremendous books. And also the Enneagram, as you can see behind me, the Enneagram, and that is my Enneagram system called Defy Your Number. And so in it, um, I help people really bring these two things together. And what that means is that, you know, Viktor Frankl um, is all about the defiant power of the human spirit that at the center of who you are is something transcendent. It's more than body. It's more than mind. It's spirit. And that spirit is what we have to turn to in, at all times in life, but especially when we're navigating what I call life's T's, transitions, tests, trials, traumas, tragedies. We have to go deeper. We have to rise higher. And then we have to move out into the world and live it. And that's the Enneagram. I mean, the Enneagram is all about how do I live my true self? Where do I lose myself? So Ennea means nine, and it's nine personality types. It's nine personas. It's nine masks. That's what persona means. It's a mask. It's nine ways we've learned to survive. We There's strategies, especially when we're going through one of those T's of how do you survive? How do you um, stay afloat in the storms of life? And so the Enneagram shows us where I go when I'm on autopilot, when I'm um, unconscious, or as Franco would say, when I'm in reaction. But we don't have to live in reaction. We can stop reacting and we can start responding and become, as Frankel says, responsible, response able, able to respond to life. That's the work that we do. We take this thing called the Enneagram and we learn how we react and how we can respond. So this week on my podcast, I'm um, exploring Enneagram 7. I bet there's a lot of sevens out there. If this is uh, social media. Sevens love social media. Sevens probably created some of social media, a lot of it. Sevens are called the enthusiast. They're called different things in different systems, but the enthusiast over here, um, and I have it as a color orangish because it's the color of the sun. So when I think of Enneagram sevens, if you don't know if you're seven, listen for yourself in this. I guarantee you, you know some sevens. They're in all of our lives. Seven is the color of the sun. They're solar powered, right? As long as the sun is out and it's shining bright, man, there is nobody better than an Enneagram seven. The challenge is, is with solar power, when the clouds come out and it's a little bit dark, um, things don't operate quite as well. And that's my experience with Enneagram sevens. The enthusiasts tend to be great when it's all sunny and happy and bright and optimistic and fun. And if they're in reaction, again, this isn't who they are when they're response, in response. This is when they're in fear. This is when they're unconscious. This is their lower level of, of living. They um, can run away from the more difficult conversations, the darker conversations, and they'll just jump to the next thing. So they're oftentimes sevens are accused of being flighty, of being sort of like, you know, having an ADD quality, you know, squirrel, 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 off to the next thing. They're fast. I mean, sevens are fast thinking. They're fast moving. They're movers and shakers. They don't sit still if they're in reaction. But oftentimes it's they're skimming the surface because they're afraid. What happens when I stop? What happens when I um, sit still and in the middle of the night when the, the darkness descends or when I have to be real in a conversation? So sometimes, you know, it's easier to divert the conversation to a different direction or tell jokes, be funny. They're oftentimes big personalities, oftentimes the life of the party, not always, but often. They are usually charismatic and magnetic. They just are high vibration of energy and they're fun to be around. The work for a seven is to realize that life isn't just about fun. It's about going deeper. It's about becoming real. Somebody wants, or somebody wants, today uh, I had a conversation with somebody who wanted me to describe more of a seven. And we were talking about famous movies and he said, give me an example. So here's my example of the seven, Peter Pan. 
So if you watch Peter Pan, if you haven't watched it in a while, it's a very sophisticated tale. And Peter is, you know, a boy who doesn't want to grow up. He doesn't want to take responsibility. He wants to be with the Lost Boys. He wants to live in Never Never Land. He likes to fly. He likes to have fun. He wants to be free. The challenge is, is that the world starts passing him by. People start growing up and um, he doesn't like the feeling of being left behind. So there's a scene where he's wrestling with his shadow. He's flying around trying to catch it. And remember this scene? He's in Wendy's room. Wendy, um, you know, the girl in the story. She um, watches this whole thing as he's trying to wrestle his shadow and then he catches it. And it's a slippery thing, that shadow. And he's trying to stick it back on his shoe. And ultimately, she says, you know, something like, silly boy, you can't stick your shadow back on. You have to own your shadow. You have to sew it on. And so she helps him, I think, sew his shadow back on. This is the work of the seven, to sew your shadow back on, to embrace your shadow, the negative side of yourself, of your personality, of your choices, of the people you're with, of the decisions you've made, to own it all, to take responsibility for it all. Here's what happens with sevens. They go from, in some ways, the most shallow of all Enneagram types to the most inspired, inspiring of all Enneagram types. Here's a perfect example. Um, Vladimir Zelensky. Here's a man who 10 years ago was a joke. I mean, literally, he was a jokester. He was a comedian. There was a YouTube of him. I saw somebody showed it of him on like their version of SNL. And he was faking that he was naked from the waist down. You couldn't see. And he was playing the piano with his, uh, you know, with his body parts. Um, this is not the, the uh, man that I know. This is not the man that was, you know, is leading the, the world right now. Agree with you know, what's going on? Don't agree with it, but you have to respect this man who has stood up against the you know, mighty empire of Putin and the, and the Russians, although they're not nearly as mighty as they thought they were because of um, because of Zelensky and his ability now to be real, to make a stand in life. This is an impressive human being. There's lots of sevens that are impressive, you know, JFK and um there's so many of them, really great men and women throughout history who have been sevens have learned how to grow up, learned how to take on the more difficult stuff in life. They stop running, they stop pretending, they stop trying to be funny, and they become genuine. They become real. So the work of a seven is profound, but I've seen the sevens that I work with, they grow like no other type. I'll also say that I'm working a lot now with businesses and around the boardroom table, lots and lots of sevens. Let's say sevens, threes, and eights are most represented in um, leadership kind of C-suite positions, I think, because they're so powerful. They have so much energy. And when they learn how to harness that energy for the good, man, look out, particularly when an seven stops looking to the sun, the happy, the outside of them for their energy, and they find it from within, that's when a seven is transformative. I'll end with this. And then you can listen to the entire podcast. It's like 40 minutes. And then I have another one with my good friend and partner in Wealth360, um, Michael Finer. So Michael Finer and I do the Enneagram through Wealth and I do it on my own. So there's two podcasts this week. But um, the word that I really think of when I think of the enthusiast is enthusiasm. What does enthusiasm mean? En means within and theos is the God. And what does that mean? When seven stop looking outside of themselves for their source of power and they start going in, they like what they see. They never realized who the man or woman was looking back at them in the mirror, what they were capable of. And when they make their stand in life, when they stop screwing around, when they stop running from the responsibility and they stand in their responsibility, and as Frankel says, they make the defiant stand, man, transformative lookout. So if you're a seven and you want to learn how to make your stand, give me a shout. I would love to talk to you, work with you. If you're not, I would still love to talk to you and work with you. I now have the Defy Your Number Enneagram system. It's available. It's done. It's polished. I got videos. I got books. I got workbooks. I got the whole Megillah for you so that you can just take a test, discover your number, and I can help you defy your number. 
just, you don't even have to talk to me. You can just use the program. Um, and it's done. It's just not quite up on my website yet. So if you're interested, shoot me an email. You can shoot me an email at B-A-R-U-C-H at defiantspirit.org or go to defiantspirit.org and check it out. And it'll soon be available for purchase there. But for now, you can just reach out to me. Also have a great free ebook on nine Enneagram types, walk into a bar. And this is what they, this is how they react and this is how they respond. So that's also done and that's available, but you'll also have to email me because it's not quite teed up um, automated. I'd be happy to get that to you. Complimentary. I'm very proud of it. And I just want the work of Viktor Frankl to inspire and the work of the Enneagram to impact you so you can defy your number and live your spirit. Jump over to their the Defiant Spirit and listen to this week's podcast on Enneagram 7, The Enthusiast or Wealth 360, The Speculative Investor. I think that one drops Thursday. So I'll see you next time. Defy your number, live your spirit.